In today's video, I'll answer your question, what does it mean to submit to authority in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 17? Then afterward, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around until the end. The closing chapter of the book of Hebrews offers many timeless instructions for Christian living, including Hebrews chapter 13, verse 17. Have confidence in your leaders and submit to their authority, because they keep watch over you as those who must give an account. Do this so that their work will be a joy, not a burden, for that would be of no benefit to you. How does this apply to us, and what exactly does it mean to submit to authority? The context pertains specifically to submitting to Christian leaders in the church. However, various other biblical passages encourage us to submit to all forms of authority, even secular governments. See Romans chapter 13 verses 1 and 2 and 1 Peter chapter 2 verses 13 through 17. Submitting to authority encompasses acknowledging the role leaders have in our lives and obeying their instructions. Regarding the government, submitting to authority involves fulfilling our civic duties and obeying the law of the land. In the ecclesiastical context, submitting to authority means honoring our church leaders, seeking their guidance, obeying their instructions, and imitating them, as emphasized in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 7. Also see 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. The concept of submission to authority runs counter to our individualistic society, where self often reigns as the ultimate authority. Even under good leadership, people still rebel. How often do we exceed speed limits despite knowing the associated risks? How many bulk at paying taxes? We would rather live in me city. This revulsion of authority goes back to Eden, where our first parents rebelled against God in Genesis chapter 3, verses 1 through 7. Christians are called to adopt a different perspective. In God's kingdom, submission is considered a virtue. Just as Christ submitted to the Father, we are likewise called to submit to those in authority over us. Those in authority are called to lead through service, prioritizing the interests of their followers above their own. Even in a post-Christian society such as ours, we are still obligated to submit to authority, just as the early Christians did in a hostile and godless environment. But what about the abuse of church authority? Unfortunately, spiritual abuse is a sad reality in many churches, and we must understand that it is not God's plan. In such situations, we must remember the authority above all authorities, and our loyalty is primarily to Him. We must confront and distance ourselves from all forms of spiritual abuse, regardless of the perceived consequences. If a leader exploits his position, he can rightly be deemed a false teacher, 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 3, and should be avoided, Romans chapter 16, verses 17 through 18. Our submission to the government should also be tempered by our loyalty to God's kingdom. We respect and submit to authority, but we must be prepared to obey God rather than man when the situation necessitates it. Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content and check out the details section below this video. There you'll find one book I recommend along with several links to related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, got questions? The Bible has answers. We'll help you find them.